I remember a friend of mine said that, you know, I think it's so exciting that you're working on this because, like, even your grandkids will probably still be using that. And I, it just struck me where actually this probably is quite true. And that couldn't be more fun. Hi, my name is Laura. I am the SVP of data at Disney Streaming Services. There's quite a bit of innovation that's happening from personalization throughout ESPN Plus and Disney Plus where we're not just bringing personalization into recommendation rows but really actually incorporating it throughout the product. In Disney streaming, our culture is a lot more of, yes, let's figure out how to do it. Having that culture of yes, that collaboration is actually a little bit easier because everyone goes in wanting to do it and everybody I find at Disney they're so customer focused that they want to know more about what the customers love and what they're watching and I've loved meeting people across Disney because they really do have that passion for the customer and they see this as such an opportunity. And at the heart of streaming is consumer choice and everything that allows customers to decide what they want to do tends to really have staying power. And ultimately with data and technology in general is that you actually have to interact with your own product. You have to understand how it works. And particularly in data because you're gonna be collecting information about how it works. And if you don't understand it, you're not gonna be able to translate it later on into these insights. Disney, they have so many lines of businesses and a lot of them are coming together with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus. How can you utilize these pockets of brilliance that exist in this organization? and utilize that to bring something entirely new that Disney has not done before. This is really the first time that Disney is going to have a day-to-day -day interaction with their customers and at large scale and internationally and globally. It's very exciting. 